How to Draw Feet by Alexander Rishkin The middle part of the foot resembles an elongated egg shape. It can be approximated as a cone. But in this view, we would draw the shape as more organic. Another virtual oval can be found between the medial and lateral ankles. There is yet another oval shape around first phalange joints of all toes. Here, you can also notice another figure 8 between the two ovals. Seeing and depicting these ovals and figures will help you depict the organic shapes of the foot more accurately. You should also examine the alignments of the different parts of the foot. For example, check the alignment of the medial ankle and the big toe, and the outline of the big toe and the lateral ankle, and so on. Organic contours of the body shape never point outward, but always curve inward. The joint of the big toe can be depicted as a sphere. The width of the foot can be divided into three equal parts, and one part will be taken by the big toe. In the three-quarters view, the gap between the big toe and the second toe is not so prominent. However, in the frontal view, this gap has to be depicted for the drawing to look believable. When drawing toes in this view, do not concentrate on the contours along the toes. Instead, draw round contours of cross sections across the toes. There is one common mistake in many beginners' drawings, paying very little attention to individual toes. If your task is to portray a human foot realistically, you have to be prepared to invest great efforts in drawing every toe with the necessary detail. It is a good idea to draw some virtual cross contours of the foot, describing how its shape curves upward and then slides downward. Although you won't see such lines on a model's skin surface, they are very helpful when it comes to foot geometry, volume, and depicting tonal values.